Okay, short and simple, quick little answering tutorial. The tutorial in question is random scene instance, random position. My little, my little shapes, my reign of shapes. Is there a way to add a weight between each instance? My answer set up a timer node, link the timeout function to the next instance. I don't understand how to do that. So I've got it loaded up. When we run it, it's just a randomized 3D, three different shapes. If you look, we are running the create items in process delta, which means 60 times a second or 60 frames a second, theoretically 60 times a second, we're creating another scene. So to do that in a timeout function instead, what we'll do is we'll create a function, call it create scene, create item, we'll call it create item, func create item. And inside that function, we're going to move most of this. We're going to move, we're going to control X, cut, paste. Now it's in create item. I'm going to move this randomize to the ready function. It only needs to be called once instead of whatever, instead of 60 times a second it only needs to be done once inside of process delta we're going to call that create item function so what that's going to do nothing's going to change it's still going to call this make a scene 60 times a second the benefit to moving it to a function is now we can call it in other ways so i'm going to get rid of this create item in the process and we're going to move that to ready except we're not going to call create item actually we are going to call create item so call create item in the ready function inside control we're going to add a timer we're going to call that timer rename it to create delay inside the create item function at the end of it we're going to call that create delay and start it create delay dot start we're going to pass a variable so that we don't have to go to that every time we're going to call it delay time it's going to complain that it's not been set up here we're going to set it so i'm going to call a variable and we're going to name it that delay time equals 0.2 so actually i'm going to name it 0.1 so one tenth of a second it's going to create and then that starts it on create delay we're going to set a timeout connect it and on timeout we're going to call it again create item and then we're going to start the timer again with that same delay delay time so now it's going to create an item every one tenth of a second it's creating a new product or new item and that's how you delay it by a certain amount of time 
if you want to delay it more time, all you have to do is change this. And if you want it to do it faster, you can do 0 0.01. Don't do it. Don't do two decimals. Now it's going to be faster. That's it. Thanks for watching.